everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you all how i created this simple and cute holiday style that you all can also try so if you're interested please stay tuned all right so when you're doing this style you want to make sure your hair is pretty well stretched and mine is so i'm going to go right into the parting i'm going to do a side part and i'm going to kind of swing it around until it gets kind of to the center of my head and then from the center i'm going to part right down the middle Next, in small sections, I'm gonna moisturize my hair with this Aunt Jackie's Fix My Hair. I'm gonna apply a small amount to that to each section, and then I will follow that up with this Aunt Jackie's Shine Boss to seal in the moisture. The hair that I'll be using today is from Curls. It's the Thick Natural Curly 3B3C Clip-Ins, and this is what it looks like out of the packaging. But since I wanted to match the texture of my hair, I blow dried it and this is the result of that. Now I'm gonna take my finger and split the right section down the center, making another part. Now this is where I'm gonna add my clip-ins because I want my braid to have a little bit more length and volume. Now I'm gonna add my clip-in, but notice I am not adding the clip-in right where the part is, I am leaving about an inch of space between the part and the beginning of the clip-in. That's because I do not want the weft to show once I start braiding. And as you can see, just that one weft added some length and volume to my hair, and that's gonna create a, a fuller braid. Now I'm gonna move along to using some of this olive oil smooth and hold pudding just to uh, slick my hair down a bit. Then I'm gonna use a brush to further smooth things down. And as you can tell, you cannot see the clip-in, you cannot see the wefts, um, and it is fully hidden in between my hair. Now I'm going to start loosely braiding my hair, and I'm also gonna make sure I braid as close to the perimeter as possible. And then I will repeat those same steps on the left side. I am done braiding and this is what I have so far. Now I want this halo braid to have a fluffy look so I'm going to pull and tug on the braid until it loosens up a bit. Now to get the halo effect I'm going to use my crochet needle. I'm going to take the tail end of the left braid and I'm going to wrap it around and under the braid on the right side and then I'm going to use that crochet needle to thread the end of that braid through the braid on the right until it is totally concealed and once I get to where I only have one tiny tip of that tail left I will secure it with a bobby pin. And once you've secured that one side this is what it should look like and then I'm just going to take 
the right braid and I'm going to wrap that on top of the braid on the left side to create that halo effect and then again I'm just going to thread the tail through until it is no longer visible and then I will secure it with a bobby pin. And once you're all done, it should look as if you have only one braid. You cannot tell that it's two separate braids. All right, now I'm going to move on to slicking my edges down a bit, and then I will tie my hair up, allow it to set, and then I will be back um, to do the finishing touches. And lastly, I'm going to use this Water Wave crochet hair to fake some sideburns. So I'm going to cut one strand in half. I'm going to use my crochet needle and thread it right where my sideburns are and right underneath the halo braid. Pull one end through to the length where I want it to hang and then tuck and secure the other end under the halo braid. And then I'm just going to split that little strand in half and create some cute little curly sideburns. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And to create a more seamless look and allow those sideburns to look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to use some more bobby pins and I'm going to pin down the roots of those strands so that they stick closer to the sides of my head. And here is the final look y'all, a very cute, simple, and quick hairstyle that you can wear over the holidays. Um, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can add some accessories to kind of spruce it up a bit. Whatever you want to do, I think this hairstyle is fitting for any occasion. Um, I really enjoyed making this video. Um, I love the style and how it came out. You guys go over to Curls Curls website and check out their Black Friday sale that they have going on right now. And be sure to take advantage of my discount code which is listed down below in the description box. And as I always say, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I would not be here if it were not for you. So thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all soon.